on the TV, the local TVs, Nikisi. Those are the videos. What is that? Where, where is that place and what is happening? That one still, we are on the way to Kisi, uh, to Kisi uh, Central Police. Have you been induced by any person to come and testify before the Senate in this, this matter? No, Madam Speaker, I came on my own volition. Finally, should a government officer, state officer, or public officer use these, his powers in that manner that your brother used, did? Madam Speaker, I came because of the harassment and the abuse of office, misuse of power against me by my own brother. That's why I came here. I want to get justice. And uh, the justice that I want, even my brother, can be removed from office so that he can come to his senses. And I'm praying for him so that he can even see the kingdom of heaven. We're sorry about that, Mze. We're so sorry <laughs> for the abuse you. Is that all for this witness? <laughs> Is that all for examination in chief? Yes, uh, Madam Speaker. Th that's all for the old man. Does he need uh, time before cross examination? Or is he able to take the questions in cross examination? Sorry, Madam Speaker, he says that he has only one more issue that you want to state, and granted his age. I pray that you may grant him only one more minute, Mr. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, mm -hmm. since that time, I felt sick. I was brought to Nairobi, Coptic Hospital, where I stayed for three weeks, and I spent a lot of money. And I am now on injections. Right now, I've done three injections. I have a fourth one to do, and I have so many drugs to take. Um, something my life is in danger. That's why I decided to come, because he has treated me many times. I forgive him, but this time around I said I must come in on my own volition. Thank you, thank you, thank you, the senators, the honorable senators. Thank you, um, Mr. Ruben. You'll be asked questions by the council for the deputy governor.